Welcome to Lobster's List for January 27th, 2013. Number 1. Akinero Demon Hunters from Spicy Horse is an action RPG inspired by the classic story of Red Riding Hood in a setting inspired by Japanese mythology. Behind this project is famous game designer American McGee, known for his game Alice that was a twist on the Alice in Wonderland story. A free to play model is being pursued with this game. $10 backers can get access to the beta for the iOS or Android version of the game and get $10 worth of in-game currency. PC, Mac, and a browser-based version are also planned with Linux, Ouya, and Cooperative Multiplayer as stretch goals. Number 2. Dreadline from Erie Canal has gameplay described as a mix of RTS and RPG. A boy pretending to be a ghost befriends time-traveling monsters, one that I particularly like being a flying cube. They visit disasters such as Pompeii and Titanic to take the hearts of people who are going to die anyway. The name of the game comes from the control mechanic called Dreadlines, and the game is using its own engine to render models in the art style of one of their artists. The basic pre-order for the game on PC is at the $10 tier. There are stretch goals for adding multiplayer and porting the game to more platforms. Number 3. GameStick is an Android-based video game console that can be stored within its own controller. It has the power of a dual-core Amlogic 8726MX with 1GB of RAM, 8GB of flash, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and HDMI. You can pre a game stick console with its controller at the $79 tier. Non-US backers will need to add $15 for the extra shipping costs. Since I've already backed for an OUYA console, I don't plan to buy a game stick. Something I started to prepare was a video talking about my thoughts on these Android-based consoles, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it. One of the main points is that I don't see enough discussion about how crowdfunding will help make the games and accessories for these devices a reality. Video game projects on Kickstarter have already been using stretch goals for porting to the OUYA as a means to attract more backers. Number 4. Terrestrial Domination from Revolutionary Interactive is a 2D RTS space game for PC, Mac, and Linux. Colonize worlds, deploy space stations, build shipyards, and create fleets to take hold of other worlds. Sending colonization ships can increase the population carrying capacity for planets. Defensive barriers can be established around planets that enemy ships cannot pass through. Your name in the credits and a copy of the game is at the $10 tier. A playable alpha can be downloaded from the official website. Some possible features are super weapons like building a space station near a sun to redirect solar flares. Number 5. Minion March from Once Over Productions is a tower defense genre game with some twists to the standard formula. Keepers of the Underworld are trying to stop the escape of various minions. These keepers are its equivalent to towers and can be freely repositioned. Instead of whittling down the health points of minions, a tactic that is encouraged is using forces to push or pull minions over the edge of cliffs. Push enough minions into a specific pit and it can trigger environmental effects. Development is targeting the platforms of PC, Mac, and iOS with Android as a stretch goal. Backers at the $5 tier are invited to be beta testers for the PC-only beta, and they can get their names in the credits. The $8 tier adds a pre-order for when the game is released for PC or Mac. It is rare to see free shipping to Canada, which is something I as a Canadian like to see. Now on to honorable mentions. Vacant Sky Awakening from Project BC returns to Kickstarter with a new minimum goal of $8,000. I was a backer of the previous campaign that reached $9,889 of its $20,000 goal. The developers want to release the game for PC, Android, OUYA, and PlayStation Vita. Episode 1 and your name in the credits are included at the $10 tier, while all 8 episodes are at the $45 tier. This time they want to use Monogame instead of RPG Maker. Neocolonialism from Subaltern Games is a multiplayer game about conquering the world through economics and manipulation rather than open warfare. You can operate mines and factories with trade routes able to link a factory with distant mines. Mechanics for buying political power and making trade agreements are also important. A link to a playable PC Alpha is on the game's website. The final release also plans to support Mac, Linux, and iOS. You can help support this game by backing at the $10 tier for a download of the final game, your name in the credits, and an account needed for online multiplayer. 
A lot about this game reminded me of DEFCON from Introversion Software. Welcome to Hell is a hand-drawn animation project to produce a comedic 10-minute pilot episode as the college thesis film of Erica Wester. Welcome to Hell is based on her webcomic of the same name. After accidentally murdering his parents and his own suicide, a teenager known as Sock is offered employment by a manager of the underworld to manipulate others into killing themselves. If you back this project at the $5 tier, you can receive a pencil sketched animation frame from the episode and a download of a desktop wallpaper. There is a PDF file of sketches and notes added at the $25 tier. The project has just met its relatively low $3,000 goal with 4 days remaining. You can read her webcomic on DeviantArt, and I really like the premise and character chemistry in the voice acting samples. Fall of Angels is an RPG where you can explore and solve puzzles. An iOS version has already been released, and this campaign is for funding more content and porting the game to PC and Xbox 360. The £10 tier includes the game for PC, and a digital collector's book with material like a world map. I found the in-game camera angles interesting. Rivet Wars Eastern Front from Cool Mini or Not is a tabletop war game from a company with a successful series of Kickstarter campaigns in the past. The game is set in an alternate universe based on World War I. Units like walking tanks can have other units plugged into them like adding a commander to provide stat bonuses. It is already past $300,000 funded with every early bird tier sold out. A pre-order of the basic game for two players is at the $90 tier with non-US backers needing to add $25. As it reaches stretch goals, more pieces can be added to the basic game. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps those projects.